And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Storm chances for tonight. Heavy rain is possible. Is the weekend going to be a total washout for Memorial Day? The answer on that, but we are tracking those uh, thunderstorms off to the south, producing right now some heavier rain indicated by the darker greens and the yellows as it's continuing to push into Milan, Unionville, Centerville area and into Kirksville. So again, if you're going out this evening, definitely take your umbrella. Keep it handy because you're going to need it for the next couple of days. We have a massive storm system that's all the way from Texas, Oklahoma, especially into south central portions of Kansas. All of this is going to be continuing to push north and east. A lot of this is weakening as it's continuing to push into our viewing area once again. So that is good. We are uh, still in a slight risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center for this evening. However, a lot of this is weakening, but we still could see some stronger thunderstorms. That is not out of the question as we're heading into the evening and overnight. But right now, 73 degrees is at the Kirksville Regional Airport with very calm winds right now. And some will coming in a little bit uh, warmer, about 78. Winds are out of the southwest at around 6 miles per hour. So those temperatures are going to continue to fall once again into the 60s. Another mild night, 67 degrees by 3 a.m. 7 a.m. looking around 68 degrees. So this is what it's looking like as we're heading into the next few hours and the overnight. A lot of this activity again will continue to push in, affecting us with some stronger thunderstorms yet. So damaging winds and some hail is not out of the question, as well as some heavier rainfall producing from these thunderstorms continuing to move through, weakening a little bit as we're heading into the overnight hours. Same thing as we're heading into tomorrow. However, no severe weather is expected on Friday. Just some regular showers and some thunderstorms. Some heavier rainfall, again, is not out of the question, especially as we're heading into tomorrow night as we have yet more activity pushing in late Friday night night and into Saturday. So if you do have plans this holiday weekend, Definitely stay tuned because on Saturday we are in a marginal risk of severe weather as of right now from the Storm Prediction Center. So again, we could see some stronger thunderstorms as well as some isolated severe thunderstorms are not out of the question. A lot of this activity as far as the heavier rain is situated off to the west where they are already picking up several inches of rain, up to three inches of rain so far. What we can expect as we're heading into the overnight and into tomorrow, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch across our viewing area. As far as those temperatures are concerned, we're going to stay above normal. 66 degrees as your overnight low for tonight with those showers and thunderstorms. Highs on Friday about 76 degrees, so a little bit cooler than what we had for today. Again, with some cloudy skies, showers and thunderstorms to continue on Saturday. 78 degrees as your high. We'll dry things out at least a little bit for Sunday. 81 degrees. I did put a 20% chance in there because we do have another storm system, very active weather week once again into next week. 82 degrees as your high on Monday, Tuesday, 78 degrees. Overnight lows remaining into the lower 60s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. Uh, so again, a lot of this activity is weakening as mm -hmm. it's continuing to push into our viewing area, but still we could see some stronger thunderstorms with, some, with gusty winds and some small hail. All right, keep us posted. Thanks, Teresa.